no haters, no trolls can get to me in that way. I don't think so. Whoa. Must have a plan B in order to be successful. Myth or fact? I think it's a fact. Kuch to log kahenge. Kahenge. Yeah. Logon ka kaam hai kahenge. Well, you know that. I thought you were too young to know no, the song. No, <laughs> I'm an old school girl. <laughs> You're probably watching this on a long day. The kind of day where too much has happened. or maybe you're having a slow one doesn't it usually go like this either you're too busy or nothing of note is happening on both these days we have run out of inspiration when you're bogged down we feel like giving up when we're idle we have nothing plopping our hopes up we're either doing too much or too little even our efforts feel like they are oscillating where's the fine line between having it all without pushing yourself I'm not the only one who thinks this. If you go on to Google right now and just type finding inspiration, you'll find endless threads and discussions about finding inspiration and balancing it. Is inspiration a sham, a marketing trick, something unattainable and something we can only hear lifestyle gurus talk about? What's the secret recipe to crack the code on not feeling like we're letting everyone down? We want to do so much or do nothing at all. There's no balance to our desires and our motivation seems like slipping away. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Preeti and welcome to the Pretty Healthy show. Arkari is a consultancy firm in Amsterdam, found India to have a relatively low work-life balance. On average, Indians worked around 2000 hours per year. In comparison, Hamburg, Germany ranked amongst the top 3 cities for work life balance workers were putting about 1400 hours so how does one inspire themselves to keep going on when we can't even find the time life's all a stage and we are trying to find our hidden motivation and trying to add discipline to our daily life is there something we can do make our own inspiration or are we forever chained to a rhythm we can't quite catch the beat of i think i prefer the first one and you Talking about inspiration brings me to our very special guest who's contorted her way into stardom in an industry that in batch. She's self-made and has graced your TV screens as a budding child star. She's been a staple of the industry and has transitioned smoothly from child star to a beloved actress with ease. What she's not acting, she's inspiring us by building her brand and starting fashion trends that go viral on Instagram. But one thing that sets her apart from her peers and why I'm so eager to have her here is her unabashed candidness, which is so refreshing in today's world. Please join me in welcoming the bubbly and ever so fashionable star, Avneet Kaur. It's such a pleasure to have you, Avneet, today. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Thank you. You most definitely have some tales of inspiration for us. So let's dive right into our first segment Heart to Heart. Absolutely. Are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've carved your own path, but I'm sure it wasn't easy. What kept you going? What kept you running to the finish line, especially in your lowest moments? I think um, just my passion, my dream, you know, having that in me, that uh, zid actually, you know, to do it, to do, actually show people who are saying that I'm, I will not be able to do it and I will not be able to achieve what I'm dreaming. And especially coming from such a small city like Jalandhar, uh, I remember I used to share my dreams with people and, you know, tell them that, you know, I want to become like Madhuri Dikshit, ma'am. I, like I used to watch her in oh. Devdas. I just feel like, yeah, she can act, she can dance. she can choreograph her own song she can do each and everything like what else do you need so that's when i thought ki you know this is something that i want to do i want to go to bollywood become an actress maybe a dancer or a mm-hmm. choreographer anything and yeah, you were a dancer right so you yeah, are a dancer i am a dancer i'm a professional dancer and um, i started my career with dance india dance and correct yeah so that's how the journey began but um, i think yeah the zid of doing something more and more and more you know just kept me going and how do you cope with challenges like what do you do when you feel low do you have any strategies first i ask myself the question you know why am i feeling low what is the reason of me feeling so low and what can i do about it first mm-hmm. that's the first instinct that comes to me and then i think the answer lies within only you know you have to really find for that 
no one else is going to come to you and tell you ki you know this is going wrong in your life and you know you should do that and i don't even listen to a lot of people i do what i want to do at the end of the day <laughs> yeah i am a total rebel like that but i think the only people that i listen to in my life is my parents wow. so yeah at the end of the day i go to them and my mom especially she's like my best friend yeah. like, mama yahi ho raha hai yaar what should i do please and then she gives me a solution like maybe you should try this maybe then and you don't tend to stay there no you i come don't. out of it i really don't like to yeah dwell so I, yeah i know i can't dwell on it for sure and i think my work really helps in that mm. so i'm mostly always busy like i'm every day doing something and you know i really don't even get a lot of time for myself i do manage to give a f- little bit time to myself i read a lot i watch a lot of movies mm. i love doing that so that's the me time that i have for mm-hmm. me and which is very important we all should so yeah. i think that's how i sort of manage with the stress coming in my life <laughs> absolutely yeah so how do you keep up with your health you know be it uh, mental physical emotional right. social and that's a definition of world health organization it's you know health is not just physical it's all right. of the above the all all four right so where do you find time uh so i think yeah i sometimes do forget to eat you know that's a very bad <laughs> habit of mine but i have people with me <laughs> my mom and dad and my you and remind you beta pani to pee lo <laughs> so yeah i think that is uh, my physical health my parents really are there for me my mom is especially there for me mm-hmm. for that and my mental health i think um, again as i said my me time that i give yeah. to myself that is very important so i mm-hmm. think um, giving that time specifically to yourself mm-hmm. is super important so once i come back from my work i'm home i am just a alone you know in my bed mm. i read i you know sometimes What i do you read i'm just curious uh i read a lot of novels and novels. i read romantic stuff oh. you know i'm totally yes. that girl <laughs> fantasies <laughs> completely so i think that's like my on and off from mm. the camera so once i'm on the camera i'm like this another person once i'm like off then i'm just like avneet hi welcome back <laughs> to avneet's life <laughs> what do you think i'm just, you know what do you think is the number one excuse people give for um, let's say not exercising what do i give <laughs> What do people do? Because you're, I think you're doing a good job. <laughs> my, you're, 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 you're my ideal patient. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That just feels amazing. Thank you so much. I'm not such a fitness freak, freak. Yeah. Yeah. I just. But you don't um, have to be fanatic, you know. Yeah. As long as you take. good care good of care yourself. of yourself yeah. yeah that's true yeah guess what excuse do people give i think yeah it's just work right it's mostly like i'm super tired i maybe should not hit the gym today or um, maybe you close. know yeah. yeah i think i'm just like <laughs> guessing wildly here because yeah, i don't that's, know that is close you know the number one reason is i don't have time right that's true for exercise and eating right hmm. oh i don't have time to exercise i don't have time to cook at home oh and number two reason Uh, is uh, I'm too tired. Yeah, right. I'm too tired to to go to the gym. I'm too tired to cook. Yes, but you know what? I have to say, you know, if you don't make time for wellness right now, you'll have to make time for sickness later on. Whoa! I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's so true. It yeah, is. It, it is. is. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm gonna hit the gym today for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that inspiration. Yeah, and especially to the younger generation, please, please, please take care of your health. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, you know you live in your body 24 hours. Seven. How right. can you not take care of it? You know, you take care of your cars, you take care of your stuff, but how can you not take care of your own body? Absolutely, I totally agree with that. Okay, I saw that you have a big fan following on Instagram. It's very impressive. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but with that, I think invariably and inevitably that comes with you know some trolling and you know kind of like. कुछ तो लोग कहेंगे कहेंगे लोगों का काम है कहना यू नो दैट आई थॉट यू आर टू यंग टू नो द सॉन्ग आई एम एन ओल्ड स्कूल गर्ल सो हाउ डू यू डील विद द ट्रोल्स yeah there has been trolling like since the there beginning will be. yeah there will always be i have uh, come in this industry when i was 7 years old so oh yes oh my god so yeah it's been a You're really a long time yeah i was a little cutie <laughs> a cutie but yeah um i have i don't know i just 
look at things in the positive way mm. i guess that's what i want to say and uh, i just don't let anything get to me in that manner because i'm always so busy in trying to do what i want to do and uh, trying to improve myself improve, improve my craft actually yeah. so no haters no trolls can get to me in that way i don't think so Whoa. i'm not really doing anything lo- wrong or i'm not really Correct. you know passing any ne- negative comments about anybody mm-hmm. so if somebody is doing that to me i just like to avoid it yeah i just really is that an attitude you always had or is that something you had to work on and develop? it's the positive attitude that i've always had you've yeah. always had it yeah, yeah. okay the dream is always there you know with me to just like yeah. achieve more and just like right. you know try new stuff and new things so yeah all these things i don't really get uh, let them get to me yeah focused on your goal and then yeah i'm all i'm a workaholic i'm totally oh. yeah, yeah like that so i think that is something that really helps me mm-hmm. to ignore all these things in my life mm. thank you <laughs> <laughs> i'll 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 i think i'll write that down <laughs> <laughs> we are giving each other some i'm learning something from you <laughs> <laughs> thank you you know so you're, you're so young how do you make um you know others take you seriously especially when it comes to work okay so i think uh, i just finished doing this uh, show and uh, it's a web show and in that uh, there were a few people who were elder to me and i was just calling them sir ma'am and everything so those people started calling me ma'am <laughs> and i was like uh maybe you should not do that because i'm just 21 and i don't want to be a ma'am right now <laughs> like nahi ma'am you are senior ab humse senior hai to hum aapko to ma'am hi bulayenge yeah that's super funny so this is what happens i think because i've been in the industry since a very long time that's true yeah, yeah so i think people take me serious because of my craft because of my acting all the things that i have done in my you know past i've uh, done reality shows i've done ads i have Of, uh, my first movie is finally coming That's so right. <laughs> congratulations and best wishes thank you so so much oh my god dear audience fasten your seat belts and get ready for some myth busting joyride are you ready i'm so ready you are so ready <laughs> let's do it our outfits have the power to change the way we think or feel i think it's a fact yeah and um, think i don't know but uh, for me uh i think feel for sure yeah. like i'm that person if i'm going to rajasthan i be, might be wearing some indian stuff there for a really long time because i just want to feel the vibe uh, that i'm true. in rajasthan and play a few songs like that yeah. so i think uh, the clothes really make me feel that way yeah yeah so ladies especially you know if you're feeling down put on your red dress put on a red lipstick and go conquer the world okay one must have a plan b in order to be successful myth or fact I think it's a fact. Um yeah, because it's always good to have backups, right? I feel yes. that's me. And um definitely when it's yeah, it's less stress and then you have something, you know, there like if it doesn't work out, what if it doesn't work out, then mm. I have a plan B to switch to. So yeah, I think it's smart to do that. It is. Yeah. What was your plan B? If I'm uh not becoming an actress i would become a dancer like ah. a proper professional dancer then i would be learning more dance forms for sure ah. so right now i learn four five but then i would be doing all the courses in the entire world <laughs> and i would just travel <laughs> everywhere and you would have been equally happy yeah equally yeah. happy i still am <laughs> <laughs> okay women shouldn't weight train because it leads to bulkiness i think it's a myth yeah is it yes Okay it I would is. like you to explain more about that because <laughs> yeah I mean you know that is a myth uh, a common myth uh, but the way our hormones are unless you're specifically training to hmm. bulk up hmm. you won't bulk up and it's important it's important to strength train um as early as in our 20s okay because we start losing muscle in our early 30s or late 20s even we start losing muscle so very very important my dear audience so there very important to start strength training in your 20s but of course if you're starting a new program please please talk to an expert first okay uh we can lose weight easily uh well not that easily but we can lose <laughs> weight from our arms and thighs easier than our belly fat for but women I right i think yeah I, i think it's a fact right like that's very difficult to do that so i had put on a lot of weight for tiku at sheru my film and uh, when i lost really? yeah i was 50 i think i was 52 
I'm 46 right now. So 53 or something, I've put that much, yeah. So you intentionally, you mean? Yeah, yeah for the character. For the character. Ah. Oh, yeah, okay. but then when I lost, so I think the yeah, belly was... The was, last one to go. Yeah, the yeah. last one to go. Still, the pizzas were still there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you could eat uh, guilt-free, I guess. Absolutely. I was just hogging on food like mad. But yeah, so medically also, I would say, um, well, it's the last one to go, yes. But also, it from a doctor's standpoint, it's the, the most worrisome fat. Eventually, that may lead to diabetes, heart disease, and some cancers down the road. So yeah, very important to get loose, get rid of that belly fat. And it's hard, but it is possible. If you want success at work, you must sacrifice on personal time. I think that's a myth. You think that's a myth? Yeah, because I have my personal time, as we were just talking right now. and Yes, the, your me time. Yeah, my me time. So I think that's a myth and I think that people deserve some me time, you know, after their work. How do, they, how do you find personal time though? Do you have to kind of consciously work on it? Because all I hear from people who, you know, work a lot are like, you know, I don't have time for this, I don't have time for that. So I think uh, my team, especially, they always ask me this question, how do you have so much energy? <laughs> So after my pack up, I'm like, let's go here, let's go there, let's do this, let's do that. So I have a lot of energy inside me, even after I'm done working. So I think that's how I give, sometimes give that energy to my me time, my yeah. personal time. So yeah, I have the strength to go back home and read a book. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you squeeze out time. Yeah. And actually, I'm so proud of this younger generation because they like to work, but they also make sure they find time to do something, to do whatever they, um, you know, they, they love doing. And and actually, that's also a recipe for better health. So, Ooh. yeah. So, this is my favorite round, Avneet. Oh, really? You may put your fitness to test. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> I'm ready. So this is the health version of never have I ever. Mm. Okay, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. If your answer is a no, you're safe. If your answer is a yes, I might ask you to do something. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> okay. Okay, no. ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever gotten into a fitness trend that I didn't like, but did it just because of peer pressure? No, I've never. You've no. Never. no. Okay. never ever have I cheated during an exercise rep or set. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Who hasn't? <laughs> <laughs> John Abraham hasn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, obviously. I know. Yeah, I mean, I look at that body. <laughs> what can we do? Um, let's test your flexibility. That's part of fitness. Yeah, but split um, nahi sakti mein, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just have to touch, you know, raise your one arm and uh, the other. I'll just show you. Okay. And see if you can touch both the hands. Okay. And see? You did it. it! Yay! I think I did it. Yeah, you are flexible. You're a dancer. <laughs> Well, let's do a rapid fire kind of questions. Sure. What do you think? Let's start. Okay. Never have I ever lied to my Fitbit or tracker. Uh, never. Never have I ever lied about going to the gym. Uh, uh, no, never. <laughs> never have I ever eaten an extra helping of dessert and not told anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Okay, no punishment for this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Never have I ever tried a fat diet. No, I don't. I really don't. I don't know what this is. Good that you don't know. Yeah, I'm going to go to the top. All right, so it's a no. Avni, there are so many trends coming up every day these days, right? Is there any single trend? health trend that you would never subscribe yeah i think um jo logon ko lagta hai na ki um maybe if i don't eat well or maybe if i don't eat at all mm -hmm. main patli ho jaungi but i don't think that's actually true i'd rather eat proper mm -hmm. homemade food ghar pe acche se khau and then do a nice dance routine or mm -hmm. you know work out in the gym i'll eat my proper food and then do all the you know, all these stuff. So I think, yeah, that is something I wouldn't subscribe to at all. I used to think ki aisa hota hai ki kam khane se, you know, you get patla, but that weight loss is really bad for your health. So I think, yeah, that. I'm so glad you think that way. <laughs> and, you know, uh, yes, surely that way of losing weight is really bad. Hmm. Hota bhi hai weight loss, 
तो इट यू नो बैक फायर्स इन अ लिटल बिट बिकॉज योर मेटाबलिज्म स्लोज डाउन सो नंबर वन इट्स डेंजरस यू नो आई गेट सो मैनी पीपल यू नो आई सी सो मैनी पेशेंट्स गेट सिक इवन गेट हॉस्पिटलाइज बिकॉज दे डोंट ईट दे डोंट ईट प्रॉपरली सो येस दैट इज वन डेंजरस ट्रेंड आई एम सो ग्लैड यू ब्रॉड दैर आप एंड लाइक आई सेड यू नो इट मे वर्क फॉर फ्यू डेज बट दैन द मेटाबलिज्म योर बॉडी रीसेट्स इट सेल्फ एंड द मेटाबलिज्म स्लोज डाउन एंड देन यू नो यू स्टॉप लूजिंग वेट आफ्टर अ वाइल यू नो पीपल थिंक दैर इज अब about child actors transitioning into lead roles but you've mm. successfully done that did you did you face that <clears throat> i think yeah it's definitely a taboo it's also the time that we should definitely break it if a person is a is a child actor or actress since a really long time a child artist i think they come with a lot of experience which is a plus point True. ha fresh faces hain but don't you think that's a plus point that they have been working since the age of like you know whatever 6 7 mm. or whatever since a really long time so they come with that experience with them and that you know power of doing something and the definitely the experience i would say so yeah this is a tab when we should definitely break it in my case i think because i joined social media i think it's been 6 7 years since i've been on instagram and my people my fans as i call them of nitians so oh, they i like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> so they have literally seen me like grow, grow. you know yeah. so they have been there since the longest time and they know how of me used to look 6 or 7 years back and oh. how i <laughs> i share with them every uh, single day i share my life with them every single mm. day so they've seen me grow and now they see that i'm a 21 year old and i am ready to do a film and i am I can play a lead actress role. Now. So I think that has helped me a lot personally. But yeah, I think this taboo should definitely break now. Thank you so much Avneet for coming on the show. This was so good. Same here. It was amazing. It was amazing. We had great conversation yes. and your energy. Oh my god, it's so contagious. <laughs> Thank I'm you. Can I carry this home? She is awesome, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me and I got a lot of tips liye aapse related to health and fitness oh. and everything. I'm glad you did. Yeah, and uh, now I will become a better person that way in uh, health and fitness. And oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. My takeaway tips are for women only this time. Number one, ladies, please make dumbbells and barbells as much as your friends as you make cardio your go-to fitness mantra. You won't bulk up. Instead, you'll be sculpted. Number two. Try dressing up when you're feeling down. It may sound superficial, but try it out. It makes you feel so much better. Number three, we always put others first, but here I'm asking you to put yourself first. Self-care goes a lot beyond beauty and fitness. One thing we ignore is our health, especially when it comes to getting diagnostics and preventative care. Get screened for cancer and other ailments. Get your blood pressure checked. Get your labs done so that you are on top of your health at all times. And we are at the end of another eye-opening journey. We had fun, we laughed, and we got into the meat of some delicate matters. Now time for a challenge. Pick up the one thing you've never found the time for, which helps your mental, physical and emotional health and just do it. And do it for 3 weeks because it takes 21 days to form a habit. Whether it's reading a book you've always put off, whether it's joining a gym, going to Zumba, walking around your building, meditating or going to a doctor. I want you to put your needs first and see where it gets you. Add it to your Instagram stories and let me cheer you on your journey. That's all from me today. Join me next time for some more thought starters, life hacks that the team too taboo to discuss.